QuickBooks Online 2022 Budget Reports. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Online in our browser, searching for QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Going into the test drive, we're going to be choosing the United States version of it and verifying that we're not a robot. Sample company, Craig's Design and Landscaping, holding control, scrolling up just a bit to get to that one, two, five percent. We're also going to have the free 30-day trial version open just so we can compare the business view and the accounting view. If you don't have access to this at this time, that's okay. We're just using it for a reference. Going back then to the sample company, and we're then going to open a few tabs by right-clicking on the tab up top and duplicating it back to the tab to the left let's do it again right clicking again and duplicate again back to the tab to the left right clicking again and duplicating again as that's thinking we're going to go on back on over to the free 30-day trial version just so we can see where the reports are located which is under the business overview section and there are our reports and if you were to switch to the accounting view which you can do by going to the cog drop down and go to the accounting view you would have a similar view than what we are looking at in the sample company which we're going back to now so we're in the second tab we're going to go down to the reports down below this is where they are located in the accounting view we're going to open up our favorite two the balance sheet the profit and loss and scroll up and do the good old range change on them from a 101 212 31 21 and run it closing the burger going to the tab to the right doing it again by the going to the reports down at the bottom this time the p and l the profit and loss the income statement going up top and ranging the changing oh one oh one two one two twelve thirty one two one run it por favor and then closing the hamburger now we're going to be looking at the budget type of reports remembering that the budget is a little bit different than uh, any other kind of report because that's going to be a forecast into the future so just realize that when we're thinking about the budget when you're looking at the normal accounting process the budget isn't really something that kind of falls into the normal accounting in the definition of taking prior transactions and using them to construct financial statements the budget then is going to take the financial statements and make future projections based on past data as well as future information therefore the budget kind of takes into consideration multiple areas, right? You've got the accounting area, which is the prior data that we're going to be using, and the construction of the budget will be using accounting. And then we've got kind of like a corporate finance or decision-making or managerial accounting, you could call it, type of topics, where, which means we're going to take that past data and make estimates or projections into the future, which is which is typically kind of different than like normal or standard like bookkeeping type of accounting because that means we're, we're actually looking into the future to make decisions on the data from the past and then you could cross over with like uh, economics and so on which means we're going to take into consideration market data and whatnot as we make the projections into the future so on the accounting side of things if you're doing the accounting you're thinking i'm my primary job generally within QuickBooks is to enter data of prior transactions to make the financial statements on which the management can then make future decisions and use it to comply with any kind of things they got to comply with, such as taxes and reporting needs. And then uh, com then go into like you put your next hat on your other hat on, which would be managerial accounting, corporate finance kind of accounting and, and you know, economics and whatnot and try to think about that past data and how you can project it into the future. Now, that also means that uh, you would typically do that not in the QuickBooks system. In other words, I'm not going to construct the budget just within QuickBooks. What we'll typically do is export the data from, say, a profit and loss report, the performance report, which is the first thing you would think about, although you could do the balance sheet too and think about budgeting out the balance sheet. But the performance report is the profit and loss and then perform your estimates possibly in something like excel your projections out into the future once you have those projections then i would put them back into the quickbooks system and that's where the bookkeeping falls into play with the accounting of the budget because then we got to account for the numbers that we're forecasting into the future putting them back into the system so that we can run comparative reports meaning i would like the, what quickbooks does well with a budget 
is run comparative reports, what actually happens versus the budget so we can do the comparisons and track what we're doing in the future. Okay, so that said, if I go to the right tab over here and go down to the reports, I don't think we have anything in the budgets at this time. So if I type in budgets, they don't have any budgets. They didn't set up any budgets. So let's set up a budget real quick, and then we'll do this more in the budgeting section, but just let's put some numbers in just so we can look at these reports. I'm going to go to the first tab to do it. The budget is located up top in the cog up top, and then we're going to go into the budgeting information here. Budget and then we're going to apply add a budget we're just going to add a budget because they don't have one and we'll just say let's just call this budget one budget number one and then typically when we're thinking about the budget we're thinking about the income statement so that's what their default is because that's the performance uh, report we can make multiple budgets we'll talk more about this later but let's just put a practice budget and then we've got we're going to make it monthly quarterly or yearly we'll make a monthly one and then the, we're going to pre-fill. I am going to pre-fill based on the prior year data. So I'm looking at 2022. I'm going to take the 2021 data as the starting point to pre-fill the data and then make adjustments from there. Again, you would probably want to make the adjustments outside of QuickBooks in something like Excel to, to, to think about what your numbers should be and then input them into the system in this way when you come back here. Now, I'm gonna, there's the data. It's on the right-hand side. Notice that the sample file, they were kind of lazy, in, in, in my opinion. You know, they, kinda, they only put a few data points starting in September. So in any case, I'm going to add, I'm just going to put a few more data points in here. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and create the budget. Once I create the budget, now I can put a few more data points in here. So I'm going to say, let's go into here and say, this is going to be, I'll just pick a number nine. Let's say it's the 950. And I'm just going to add that across. So I'm going to say tab and then add it across. And then I'll just do this for some of the, this is a discount. I'll put this at the negative 50, let's say, and then take that across. And then I'm just looking over here and putting in a, a reasonable number. So I'm going to say this is the landing services, let's say 400 tab and then copy that across copy it across and then i'm just going to make it standard all the way across the months just so we can have something to play with here so you can see some reports this will be 300 and then copy it across copy it across roger roger that copy out it froze something is frozen i fixed it don't worry people i fixed it and then this one's going to be, let's put this one at the 150 and then copy that across. And so there we have that. Then I made this one 180. We'll copy that across. And then this one down here is the total. So that looks pretty good. And then this looks, this looks pretty good. If I scroll down, let's get some expenses in here. Some expense action on the automobile advertising. Let's make this one, let's make this one uh, like 110. That's not a one. 110, and then we'll copy that across. And then the automobile, let's make this at uh, 75 and copy that across. And then the, the fuel, I'm going to put at, I'm going to put this one at, at 190 and then copy that one across. And that should be good. That's enough to work with. So let's go ahead and save this one. Save it. And so there we have it. It's been saved. And so then I'm going to close it out. I'm going to close it out. And then go back to our tab on the right. And now I can look for my budget reports. The budget reports. Let's refresh it. I got to refresh it. Now let's look for our budget reports. Again, budget. So there they are. There's our... There's our budget overview and the budget versus actual. Now the budget overview is just going to give us, you know, an overview of our budget. It'll look like basically an income statement type of report. And the default is it's breaking out here by month. So we got the month by month breakout. And then we've got the total on the year on the right hand side for the income and then the expenses. So we basically have an income statement in essence, which is broken out by month. And if you take a look up top, you got the drop down. It's going to be the budget that we have put in place here. You could change the range up top. So if I wanted to just see like the end of the year, uh, for example, I could change this to like 10.0122 and run that one. So now we've got the end of the year 
information on uh, the budget for the last three months, the last quarter. So the other report that we can take a look at is the budget versus actual, which is a great report. And that's kind of one of the major reasons that you'd want to put it back into the system so that when the actual time period goes by, you can compare what actually happened to what was budgeted and then look at your look at your differences. So let's open up the hamburger again, go back down to the reports on down below and let's do a budget versus actual budget versus the actual stuff. And the, the budget is like what we thought was going to happen. And the actual is what actually happened. So obviously to run this report and have it make sense, you would have to have the actual time frame having passed so that you have some data inside it. There's not much data in the actual here because all the data is in 2021. So in any case, we've got we've got the actual information here. There's not much activity. We've got the budgeted information and it's broken out by by month here. And then the budget uh, over budget the over or under the difference between the two broken out by month. And if I go all the way then to the right hand side, all the way to the right, then we've got our information for the total. Here's the budgeted information. Here's the actual again, nothing much in the actual, the difference and the percent of the budget. So we could of course change the date range here. So we might look at say the, the let's say the first quarter of this time, 010122, maybe we might have some data in that area to let's say 033122 and then run that one run that one hold control down scroll down just a bit this is obviously a much wider report because we do have this comparison uh, information for it and then of course we've got our totals on the right hand side breaking out the comparisons on, on a side by side budget versus actual so again the general idea for the budgets would be one uh, remember that the budgets are something that are kind of added on to the bookkeeping. The bookkeeping, your standard accounting bookkeeping job doesn't really include the budgets because the budgets represent management making projections into the future. So when you're doing normal accounting, you might not be thinking budget, but accounting, bookkeeping, data input and, what, and whatnot is involved in the budgeting process. Usually you're going to take the past information and then add predictions about in the future, which is going to require management to, to do, to think about. And then once those predictions have been made, then you're going to take that budget, possibly create it in Excel, put it back into the QuickBooks system, however, so that then you can do what QuickBooks does well, which is run reports, taking the budgeted numbers versus the actual numbers and that'll give you relevant data that you can make decisions on as time passes. Obviously, if any of the budgets change, if you want to adjust the budgets, you can go back on over here, look at this budget by editing it, or you can add you know, another budget and you can run uh, multiple different budgets.